Welcome to Locos. Welcome to Locos. I just want to give you a tour of my Airbnb uh, here in uh, the, the cabaret, the area, Sunny Shine Cabaret. So let's go. Welcome. So right coming in from the street side, the view that you get right here, and uh, this property specifically is located in uh, East Cabaret. between getting a hotel stay and getting an Airbnb. This property cost about $49 a night and I'm staying for an extended period of three weeks. This is how much it costs you for $48 a night. How about if you can show them the view up there, how nice it looks. eating area and I don't know if you can appreciate all this beautiful view here there's a lot of light coming in I specifically love, love these kind of windows because uh, uh, it, it, it lets a lot of lights light in and I'll show you come come close come close I want to show them something so when I was saying that a beach is 200 meters away if you walk outside of this door make a left behind that house, the white house right there, just walk a few meters down and you'll be at the beach. Ah. Where else can you get that? <laughs> Where else can you get that? Come in. <laughs> Little size TV, it's kind of, it's all right. It's a nice kitchen area. I don't know some of you, if you are, Healthy eating junkie like me, I know this one thing here in the cabaret area. Most restaurants actually cook a lot more like back home in America. With uh, you used to find the uh, burgers, pizzas in, on their menus. And I don't want to be on vacation in the island and still eating like I was. I was back in the state. I want to slim down. I want to be able to. Eat local, shop local, go to the local supermercado. Not supermercado, I'm sorry. Uh, the outside market, they have somehow some type of outside market. Yeah, I want to go there, buy everything fresh, come home and, and cook. Eat like the locals do. So yeah, here's a nice size kitchen. And always, like I told you before, my flag is actually facing the pool. Can you show them the pool, uh, pool right there? All right. And here's one feature I, I specifically like in this house is, is the ca cabinets, all, all this wood finishing. This wood is actually real trees. It's, it's not a fake man-made wood mixed with the <laughs> cardboards that like we do have at home back in the States. And, and I really appreciate the craft, craftsmanship of uh, these cabinet trees. 
they're really well made. I don't know if you can uh, really appreciate the, the craftsmanship of, of all these. This is a closet, some extra space for your stuff. I, I'm not really using it, but if you have a lot of stuff, you can uh, have that in there. And right here is just the laundry room. Look at this. Look at this beautiful craftsmanship. And the laundry room is actually a nice size. There's nothing in there for now. Uh, right here at this property, they actually do your laundry uh, at a small extra cost. Probably like uh, I paid uh, 300 pesos once for wash, and uh, another time I paid 500 pesos for wash. So yeah, they do some laundry for you at a small cost if you like to. They come in, clean the house for you twice a week or more if you like. Uh, there's a nice size fridge, as you can see. I forgot to show you the fridge. So now coming to the room, the bedroom. On the left side is your restroom. You wanna show them the restroom? It's actually here. Really nice size restroom. Um, all right. And a lot of extra closet space, which I'm sure most of you don't really need it. If you're coming in for a short stay, you most people just really bring a, <laughs> a few clothes, you know. Everything is provided for you here, and if you come to the island, man, this is this is how we stay here. You got your shirt on, a short. I brought a lot of pants in, and shoes, and I'm not even wearing them. Out. We basically just wearing stuff like that right here because it's nice and hot. It stays nice all day long. I have to say though, it's been raining here for the past a few days, so. All right, so here's the view I'm getting from my side of my bedroom. Look at this beautiful tree. And wait, where else can you get that for forty-eight dollars? <laughs> forty-eight dollars. <laughs> Let me just open this window so they can uh, feel the breeze outside. <laughs> feel the breeze outside. <laughs> so I wake up in the morning. Either go to the beach which is like 200 meters away, take my walk on the beach, I'll run, and come back and be uh, on the pool, walk out at home, enjoy my stay. All right, that's it for this short video of uh, my Airbnb. Again, if you were staying at a hotel, which I did uh, on my, my first few days here, you would be paying more. More, uh, more than $48 a night uh, for your stay. And hotels, accommodations don't always have everything that you uh, you can get from from a flat like this, all right? So let me know if you, uh, f if you are fam familiar with the Cabarete, Sosua, Puerto Plata area, if you can find any better deal for this same price on your Airbnb or hotel stay, all right? Uh, consider subscribing and uh, share your your insight input about this type of topics here in uh, in the Cabarete area. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.